Welcome to another tutorial on Superimpose app. In this video, I will explain the tools under the Transform section. This is the section of the app, where you can place your foreground at the desired location. I have already created a project. I am going to explain how to use the features under this section using this project. When we enter the Transform section, a frame is shown around the foreground and the foreground can be moved around just like this. You can use pinch, pan and rotate touch gestures to zoom in and out, move and rotate the foreground. There are some control points around the frame using which we can transform the image. There is one at the top left, with a right angle icon. You can tap on it to straighten the image. Or to the nearest zero or right angle. If the foreground is already straightened, this will rotate the image clockwise by 90 degrees. Other three control point at the corners can be used to resize the image. You can double tap on the image to scale fit the foreground to the background while maintaining the original width and height ratio. If you double tap again, the foreground is scaled down and placed in the middle of the background. There is a button at the bottom left corner of this section called Aspect. Using this button, you can enable or disable aspect lock for the foreground. When enabled, the width and height ratio of the image remains fixed while resizing. As you can see the moon remains perfectly circular while I am resizing it. The image is not getting deformed. The next button is for enabling or disabling snap mode. When enabled, the foreground gets snapped into the edges or to the middle of the background. This is very useful when you are trying to align the foreground to the background or you are trying to center the foreground. The next button, Fit to Canvas, can be used to scale the foreground to completely cover the background. This will deform the foreground if required to do so. You can flip the foreground horizontally and vertically using the next two buttons. Now in some projects, you might want to have finer control over the movement of the foreground. Dragging it could move it too far away from the desired location. To get finer control of the movement, you can tap and hold on the foreground. Four buttons with these arrows would pop up. You can move the foreground one step at a time using these arrows. Finally, let me place the moon at the desired location. That is all for this video. Let me save the final image into the camera roll. That's it. Thank you for watching the video.